Namaste gang. Now today I'm giving you a prevention over cure program. Why am I giving you a prevention over cure program? If I had a prevention over cure program when I was a young gunner on the road, this would have prevented loads of trauma I have experienced in my life. This would have, this would have prevented me from potentially going to jail. This would have prevented me from potentially licking man down. This would have prevented me from, from county lines, shutting on the block, um, bullying, violent behavior, and a whole host of other things. So today, I, I beg you, please get your phone out, get a pen, get a paper, take notes, because one of these seeds I am giving you today may resonate. One of these seeds I'm giving you today may prevent you from doing something that will stop you from getting 25 years or losing your life. It's that simple. Namaste, gang. I hope you enjoy. Peace, Linger. They sent me here in my fourth year, year 10. They sent me to this college here, imagine that. That's why I told my blood, this is the best place for me to come and the best place for us to first link up. They sent me here, I linked to a man called Jordan from Boundary Layton and I linked to the next guy called Daniel. And you got some shops on the, so as you come out the college, you do a left and you got like uh, some shops on the corner, you got some hill, some road, I can't remember the name of the road called, that's where Daniel lived. I linked that man for weed. That man had some decent weed, it was cheap. That was the benefit of me coming here. I was here for about two, three weeks, never come back again. Of course, I got my weed link, I make my money, I'm gone now, I'm good. Man was what, fifth, how old are you in year 10? What, 15? 14, 15. These times I was coming here, one, two, five, a prilla, wires hanging out, everything, raggle on the motorway. <laughs> Sound like a hairdryer. You know, like that. So, so, so boom now. So now mum's always getting to jail. So now, when my mum goes to jail, if I didn't go to the children's home, I went to my nan's in East London. So when I go to my nan's in East London, I had the beauty of meeting man like the God over there, Mike, and many other gods from East. So Dizzy Rascal, do you know Dizzy Rascal? Yeah. So by trade, he's a DJ. Mm. He was my DJ. Uh, there's a guy called Stormin and a guy called Ada. The first crew, Mike can tell you, the first proper crew in Bo, I'm talking youngers. We're not talking like Wiley and that. We're talking youngers. Our generation was YGS crew, young gun soldiers. We was active, doing youth clubs, doing up dances, whatever. So man talk about when they touch road, yeah? Before I even touch earth rude boy, man tasted crack, you know, like that. Like, man talk about trapping, now nah, I'm a trapper. Bro, you, you weren't born into this. Man was born into the team, you know, like that. So. Mum was 16, I'm third generation, you know? Third generation. My first running with the police, I was like 10, 11. 86, Watling Gardens, shoot uphill, Northwest London. That's where the journey started for Anton. First, we're talking about Anton first. We're not even getting into what Mike was saying. This is Anton. So now, whoever knows, ask your uncles later on or your dads or whatever. Lucas A. Bottles used to be glass, yeah? So man was playing football, 86 Watling Garden, shoot up here North West London. Playing football, one youth said a madness to me. Now remember, I'm 10, you know, I'm 10 years old, 10 years old. Youth said a madness to me, so what I've done, I've picked up the bottle and I've bust his head with a bottle. 10 years old. And you're fighting your mum with crack pipes, dog. Now that's real. 10 years old. Now my story is not the worst story in the world, no way. You've got a man coming from the Middle East, third world. Families have been raped, murdered, blown up in front of them, they come here and become successful. No way am I saying my story is the worst story, but my story is my raft up story, you know, like that. Yeah. So anyway, fighting your mumsy for the crack pipe and that red hair you got man coming in and out of your house with blood on their gums, shanks, shot in food, shot in your mum's food, you got cats coming to your yard. But the wickedest thing was, it weren't cats like 
you would be on the road shot into a dirty litter. Or you would be on the road shot into a dirty litter. My mum had peas. She made dough. So you know when you see her in the latest designer, you're thinking, oh, she's a cat. I'm a cat. No one is going to look at her. She looks That's the illusion. Social media. I'm a gangster rapper. I'm a gangster rapper. No, you're not. Um, I see man coming in my yard with blood and their gums and they're domestic. My mum had boyfriends try to put their hand on man, try and bad man up. But I'm all nine, ten years old. I've got big men trying to get physical with man, you know, like that. So now when I step to East London, I am like a wild animal. Because I'm thinking, right, I'm in a new area, I don't know these people. Like, I have to fend for myself. And I'm used to that. For the is, we must dream. Okay, I'm going to pick her right. Okay. You back there in the corner. Yeah. What's your dream, dog? <laughs> I have a dream, but I don't want to say it. Like, when it happens, it happens. Tell me your dream, dog, so I'm going to give you some valid, valid, valid jewels right now. Just saying, no one's going to buy it. It's not bad. My, my... Today, word to mother. Look, I'm getting goosebumps, bro. I'm getting goosebumps. Mm -hmm. My cells are responding to what I'm saying, so I'm talking nothing but the truth. Listen, today I woke up, I think 17 minutes past four. I set my alarm for six, just in case. 17 minutes past four, then I think 5.33, and then I think sort of 5.48 or whatever. And I think that's when I then just woke up and shout, whatever. My point is, when you have that fire burning in your belly, dog, you will win. It might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen, you know, like that. When you've got that fire in your belly, that's when you win, and that's when you grow. So the king of the jungle, yes? Yeah. Of course the lion is the king of the jungle, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. In your head now, just get an image of a tiger, and then get an image of a lion. Take off the hair, take off the illusion of the lion. My, listen, the lion is Marga. The lion come like some kind of crackhead looking animal. You know, like that, Marga. Real talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at a tiger. Physically, look at a tiger. Imagine a tiger right now and a lion with all the hair cut off. It's like it come like a a, 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 a a bulldog fighting fighting a Jack Russell or something. Like it's a Maserati. So try and know the reason why they say the lion is the king of the jungle is for what reason? Collectively, I said to Mike earlier, my man, I said to Mike, you must be at the ends now, innit? He said, nah, man, I'm still in the ends, in the quite a gully part of the ends. I said, slow down. He said, yeah. You see, the God here, Mike, he's an exception to the rule. Because I know I left the ends at 22. And that was my saving grace, I believe. You see, if you can rise up, dog, out of the dirt, and you can rise and shine, you're that guy. You're that guy with backbone. Like, you are that guy. Don't ever think for one minute, listen, this shoot slumped here on the corner because he's communicating, not guiding him and educating him. Individually, he might have a whole heap of knowledge, but as a community, he's doing life in jail for portraying an image. I've got uncles, I've got for portraying an image. So okay. live in a certain way, doing a certain thing. Go on, chap. Yeah. Yeah. Snap that, no problem. The biggest man could snap that, the smallest, margarous man could snap that. No problem. Double it. Might be a bit stronger. Man, man will snap that. Triple it. Might be a bit of effort. Triple that twice. Oh. Oh. Can't even really do that. These are some little, little pencils. Get a handful of pencils like this, try and snap them. My dog, you ain't snapping, you're not snapping it. Cut collectively, it's a fool. That's it. Everything you think is stolen. It's been fought before. What do you mean by that? Force, where the force come from? Okay, but where did the force come from before ourselves? It's on the seas. Seas, okay. But just try and notice them. Thoughts are energy. Many carry knives due to fear. Many man, peer pressure, bear pressure. If you ask me, if I said to Crazy Tits right now, who's in jail? Who knows Crazy Tits? Now you heard of him. Do me all a favor, on your paper, just write down puff chest, puff chest, 
and Google the tube. Google the tube. It's on Graham Daily. My man is my man is is a real G from the road, an OG from the road, and he's making music from the J lab. But the reason why I'm promoting him like this because he's done one tune, which is a positive tune, and he's talking about the system and breaking down the system about how the system is corrupt and systematically against specific beings. So that's without getting too technical and too deep in the scenario. If we all went to America right now and we dethroned Trump, we went to America, we dethroned the government, took over, now, today, we are now in power and we're changing the title to whatever we want to change it to. 50 years, 100 years from now, people will look at the term president and look at that in a derogatory term. In a term like president. So how you look? Oh, nigga this, nigga that. That's how we would be using the term president. Because they've been taken over, they've been monopolised, they've been slaughtered and, and pushed out, basically, rubbed out. Do you think when I, the Anton of old couldn't stand up here now and give you this? The Anton of old would stand up here and say, yo, young gunner, you know what? You look greasy, blood. Come, you're going to be my soldier. Oi, hey, blood, you over there on the phone. Come, you're going to be my trapper on the corner, blood. Come, you back there, you're vocal. You're going to be the spokesman for that. You can go. That's how I'd be oppressing you. I'm oppressing you now. You know, like that. Bro, it's oppressing us. It's oppressing us. If we're watching Blue Story and Top Boy, and then we're watching six or seven films that are uplifting and inspiring us and showing us how to make money, employing us, doing the utmost for us, then I can kind of digest it a little bit. But no, it's oppressing us, yeah? So, the man living in jail, they're giving the real story.